Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Veronica, known as Data Geek, and I make easy step-by-step -step tutorials on data analytics using tools such as Excel, Python, and SQL. And today, we're talking about Power BI. And guess what? It's completely free to use and get started. And in this video, I'll show you how to download Power BI for free, how to install it step-by-step, -step, and how to get started right away. If you're ready to start working in Power BI, grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so how to get the free Power BI desktop? I'm going to show you two options. So there is the Microsoft Store, which I recommend. So all you have to do is open up your browser. It could be a Google browser or Chrome, any type of browser, and search for Microsoft Store. go ahead and click on Microsoft Store, download apps and games. And in here, we want to search for Power BI Desktop. And there it is there. And make sure it's Power BI Desktop because this is the one that's free forever. This is what you want. It's a Windows application you install on your computer. You can use it to load and clean data, create reports and dashboards. You can use all the visuals and modeling tools. So there's no sign in required to use it. So every time you do get prompted to sign in, just skip sign in when prompt. There's no 30 day trial. It's absolutely 100% free for local use. So like I said, make sure to skip that sign in when prompt. Now the Power BI Pro or the Power BI service is and does have the 30 day trial. So you don't want that. The one you want is the Power BI desktop, which is for free. Then you click on download. So once you have downloaded that and click on that file and it will start downloading. Now, while that's downloading for us, I'm gonna open up another tab here and I'm gonna go ahead and paste in this URL, which I will provide this URL in the description below. This link here will go to the Microsoft official page. All you have to do is click download. And again, it's Microsoft Power BI desktop. That is the one you want for free. And then you click on download. And then you choose the right version for your system. And I would recommend choosing this one here and then click download and you could install this manually. Going back to my previous download to see the status. So it's at 87%, so it's almost done. Also, another thing to keep in mind when you install it through the store, it, it will always stay updated automatically. Where this one, doing it manually, you would have to update it on your own. Okay, the download is complete and it opened up a window which I could go ahead and start using Power BI instantly. Now I wanna show you the data set that we will be using for this tutorial. So it is Power BI sales data set. So let me zoom in here. As you can see my Excel sheet, it has customer name, sales, and date. So there are only three columns and 100 rows. So we're gonna go ahead and upload this into Power BI. You can select a data source, which is your to upload a data set. You can do a blank report, a one lay, one lay category, an Excel workbook, SQL server, and you can even learn with sample data, get data from other sources. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to this one here, Excel workbook. If you want to go ahead and set up your light and dark modes here, you can do that. But in this case, I'll skip it for now. Okay, so I have it. It's called Power BI Sales Dataset, which I'm going to use for this tutorial. So I click on that and click Open. Then here on, under Navigator, it shows the data set. It shows the file and the data sheet. So the data sheet is the sheet that's within the data set. But let me show you an example of why it shows that. So in this data set, as you can see, it has sheet one, 
So that's what Power BI is basically asking you, like what sheet do you want? So if you have multiple sheets, it's gonna go and show these multiple sheets here listed by the, their names. In this case, we only want sheet one. So when I click there and it shows a sample of your data. Now you can load or transform. So if you load the data, it goes in the way it is. Or if you hit transform, which I will go ahead and do that to show you an example. It gives you a transform pop-up window that you can go ahead and transform your data. So you can click here where it says A, B, and C next to this column name, and you can change the data type. In this case, it has A, B, and C, so it's a text, so I would leave that there. Sales, so it has uh, sales there, one, two, which is a decimal number. And then also a date, so it has this one here as date. You can also change that or leave it as is. In this case, we're just leaving it as is. I just wanted to show you guys these examples of how to transform your data or change your data sets. So we're gonna go ahead and close and apply. Now it's loading your data set, which is sheet one. And it's loading data to model. Once it has loaded that data set, you can click here. This is the report view, which is your visual. Here on table view, you can click table view. It shows your data set. So whatever data set you upload into Power BI, it should have it all here. So again, there's my three columns and 100 rows. Even shows you the number there as you scroll. You can also do a model view. So if you want to click there and say you have more than one data set, you could connect relationships between each data set. And this here is DAX query view. So you can look at the query view or you can create your own query. It's more advanced. In this case, we're just gonna do a simple creation. Okay, so we clicked right here that report view up here on the left side of your screen. And when you click that, you're gonna have this build visual with your data. So you have your visuals, so these you just basically just click and drop in here depending on what you want. They have stack bar chart, they have pie charts, they have um, slicers, which is like filters. And then here under data, this is your data sheet. So this is what you just imported. So it should have the name of your data sheet here. So you just click this arrow and it has the drop down. When you do this drop down, it's going to have all your variable names. So you could just drag and drop into the fields here, the values. So depending on what you have. So we have customer name, date, and sales here. So first thing we wanna do is do a slicer. So I'm gonna create a slicer here. Within this slicer, I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this date column into fields. So now I should have a slider that slides the dates. Now you can drag this, size it the way you want. You know, so on this case, I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then you can also click on it and then move it around. And then I want to go ahead and create a card. So this card here, I'm gonna click on it and it goes to my sheet. But see how this got changed? So make sure that you're not clicked within that box. So I'm gonna switch it back to slicer. So I'm going to click anywhere outside of this box. Now I will click the card and it drops it right in here. So the card, I want it to have the sales price. So this sales here, I'm going to drag and drop into fields. Now I have the sales price. So next I will do a sales by year and I will do a pie chart. The pie chart is here. I'll do it right under here. And I will do sales and values and date. So automatically it picked up the year. So date year, so 2004. It has um, 9,906. And 2005, 44,780. So there's my pie chart. Next, I'll do a bar chart. 
which I will do stacked bar chart or stacked column chart. I'm going to do the column chart. And again, I want to hear the so customer name in my X axis and sales in my Y axis. So now I have customers and sales. Now I, what I want to do is I want to click outside of these boxes so I can click the background so I can change this background. Once you click there, it's visualizations and it's going to be under format your report page. You click there. Under wallpaper, if you click that, it has color. You can upload an image if you like. And what I'm going to do though is I'm going to go ahead and color a dark blue. Yeah, I think that would be good. A dark blue. Then I'm going to minimize these so I don't see these. And I see actually the bigger page. So I'm going to go ahead and move these around where they look nice, fit in Lynn. And I'm going to go ahead and put a title. So we can do a title by going to on top here it says insert right next to your home page. And under elements, it's there's a text box here. Click that. And your text box pops up. So in here, I want it to be sales data. And then you can go ahead and make it bold. So bold your text. I also want to make it larger text. And let's do something. Let's do this one here. And that's it. I will go ahead and move this up here. And then I could expand it, make it smaller. Actually, I want the text to be right in the middle. So you could do that. This is a small example of how to do a visual in Power BI. You can add more visualizations if your data is larger. In this case, my data only has three columns, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it as is. But you could also play around with this for visualizations. You can click the boxes and go to your format visual and go to general. And you can actually uh, change the background to that. So if I just click off, the background is a different it doesn't show the background, but you can change the color. If you want um, different colors, you can do that as well, all depending on your liking. Um, but then in this case, I'm going to go ahead and keep it white. So like I said, just go in here and just play around with it. So that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed my video. If so, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Any support is appreciated. Thank you again for watching and I will see you on the next video.